morning. It's 2017. It's springtime. I am uh, quickly gonna introduce you to my uh, backyard plant, trees, all type of other plants that we have here. Now this here, you can see all the flowers are coming out. It, it just starting this March. Uh, right now it's just the uh, mid of April and beginning March everything comes out. All the leaves are out from the from the trees. They were all gone before. That's that's my whole backyard there. You can see that. All right? So this is a pomegranate trees. Look at all the flowers all opening nice and red. It's gonna be a lot of fruit this year. Okay. Down here, we got a couple of uh, banana trees um, that my mom uh, recently planted. Okay, and here we have a guava tree. Look at that! It's been this tree's been here many years, and they produce fruits every year. And in the back there, there's another another guava trees. And then against the fence, you see uh, dragon fruits, all the dragon fruit trees. And that, that's a lot of dragon fruit trees there. And that's, that's, that's the type that gives you the fresh um, white, uh, white flesh fruits. Okay, and this here on the side, this other side of the fence, is um, more dragon fruit trees. They are um, these, these have uh, red flesh um, fruits after uh, it's cut open okay and then we got um, cherimoya we had a bigger tree here in the center but then you know the tree died in the winter because it got quite cold so somehow the roots uh, you know made, made another plants out of it another cherimoya so we tried to save that okay and along this here you've got strawberries you got strawberries. I have several strawberries, and some of the strawberries are ripe. You can see that. And then I recently got this as a gift from a co-worker. There, it's it's a pineapple strawberries. I mean, pineapple tomato. My bad. Okay, that's a pineapple tomato there. So it's the first time I'm growing that pineapple tomatoes. Okay. And along here, the strawberry trees, strawberry plants. You can see that you know, quite strawberry, quite a lot of strawberry on that one. This is also, you know, um, other plants where you can cut the branches and then you take the leaves, you pick the leaves apart, and you can cook soup with those. It's really, really healthy stuff. Okay, and right there you can see some of the lettuces that we have but they, they're old already and you see a lot of uh, the red one there has a lot of flowers coming out and then we got more guava trees there another guava trees in the buckets containers <laughs> a lot of guava trees and and you can see here next to the guava trees are the those are garlic garlic plant Okay. You can actually eat the leaves or cut the leaves up and, and you know and cook. And once you leave it when when all the leaves are get old and wrinkled up, you get garlics. When you pull the, the there's more over there. Um, you, you pull the, the 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 whole branch up and, and you get garlics on the bottom. Okay? So that those are garlic plants. And right in the center there those I think these are uh, I forgot what that is. It's like an orange pomo pomo uh, pomolet uh, tree or something like that. Okay. And this is peach tree. See the peach. Okay, peach tree is normally um, the fruit should be ready in March. Most of the time it starts a lot earlier, but this year it's late. But there's, there's, you see the, the, um, the peach. Okay, the peach are coming out. There's quite several.
not not as many as it used to. Some years has so so much that it all arrived at the same time, and the boat the boats around our backyard just help help themselves to it. Okay, and from this side, here's an apple trees. Okay, these are the white. Uh, I don't know what what type of apple trees. White, small, almost like Fuji type of apple trees. Very sweet. Um, okay. And then we got chilies down here. Yeah, for some of in these three parts, these are chilies. They are very spicy. Um, I normally don't even eat them, but somebody do. <laughs> and and that is cilantro there. Okay. And you can see here we have green bean. And look at that. It start it start to climb up. So these are green beans. Climb up the the wooden branch here we got and then we got back here under the tree there's these are chive okay it's all good stuff for good for cooking okay chive right okay under here I got another straw dragon fruit I'm trying to have climb up the, the side of the trees see that and then I have um, um, bell pepper See, these are bell peppers. You can see a couple bell peppers there. Okay, these are different colors bell peppers. Some is green, some is purple. Um, you know, all right. And of course, there's uh, more guava trees here. So we, you can see that we have quite a lot of guava trees. And this here is a persimmon tree. That's a persimmon tree. Okay, and uh, persimmon tree give a lot of uh, persimmon fruits every year. When the leaves comes out, see now you can tell that the color of the leaf is still still very young. These are very young leaves. Okay. See here's here's a fruit bud right there. Okay. See that? There's a lot, a lot of fruit bud. But most of these and some of these will drop. You know, not all of them's gonna 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 pollinate on on and become fruits. You can see all these flowers up there whole bunch okay and that's what spring does and you hear a lot of background sound of bird chirping okay and this is only half of um, our backyard here okay there's a peach tree again and I got another dragon fruit against the climbing against the wall I, I'm gonna try to relocate this because it's uh, starting to get into the windows you know you can start to see a um, little wine there, right there, right where my finger is, and you know, that's going to destroy the windows, I don't want that to happen, okay, and then we got, we have lettuce here, look at that, lettuce, okay, and then more strawberries, alright, and I got uh, peas, look at that, pea sprout, it's start to grow out, okay, and these are more lettuce and you know, other um, Asian vegetables. Okay. And right there in the center, you have a uh, lemon, lemon trees. See that? There's a lemon tree here. It's not, it's not a big lemon tree. It could be from a crafted branch or something, but. It produces a lot of lemons. Look at that. That's, those are lemons still from last year's and still here. <laughs> and we got new lemons that's, that's coming out. You know, right there, new lemons. Okay. And here is an Asian pear. This one. This is an Asian pear. From last year, it produced quite a lot of fruit and the weather was hot and, uh, you know, half of the fruit got sunburned on top of it. But this year, um, all the new leaves comes out. Look at um, some of the branches dies. This this branch is dead. A few more branches here is dead, so I will cut them off. Um, and the, the center branches here dies. I don't know why they do that or why they die, but I guess that's just part of their selection. Uh, they pick any branches, and if it's not supposed to be there, they I guess they die. <laughs> you got more of uh, lettuce and other vegetables down here. Okay. 
and here you see these on the ground these are called penny worth uh, a lot of people say it's probably worth like a penny but they are really really good for you help with inflammations and you know for for memories and all that it's really really good okay so another pomegranate tree okay along the side okay and then right here this is uh, one of the biggest tree we have here or supposed to be the biggest tree I guess <laughs> it's a persimmon tree this is a different type of persimmon it's it's one of those big round large type the other one I showed earlier was a flat type of persimmon tree persimmon tree so this when they fruit the, the tree the fruit is really really big okay and below here uh, just flowers okay we got this sweet uh, mint here okay and I believe this uh, these are goji um, goji berry plants here uh, they are like uh, tango on on each other these are goji berry plants you can see the the flowers it's not the bud right there and then you can get you know um, red colors fruits goji berry and then right there that's uh, those are uh, uh, spinach okay and then I think this is uh, moringa this is like a moringa plant um, it, it's very healthy you want to know about moringa search on YouTube or online you will find a lot of details about moringa okay I don't know what that one is in the pot we got more mint mint and that and here's a couple trees side by side next to each other these trees are called longan look at that you see all those flowers coming up these are longan trees and they can produce a lot of fruits um, these trees been here over over 10 years so so um, yeah so they grow nice and big and then they produce a lot of a lot of fruits each year so every year we have a lot of uh, exotic some of the exotic fruits to eat that you know you can't find in the supermarket or have a hard time finding in the supermarket okay more plants well, that my parent grows you know, we've got this cactus there and there's uh, a few aloe vera okay and then here's a couple of trees another couple of trees and these are called jujube trees okay you see the leaves are still these are just just budding the leaves just come out and uh, within within a month and it's still it's still small and you can tell by the color it's just very light green colors okay and another um, persimmon tree the smaller one and we got another guava trees, okay? <clears throat> and these are um, a vegetable. Okay, I'm gonna walk by the side of the house. Okay, we have along the side of the house here another another big uh, guava trees. So I'm not gonna go too much details on that because um, you know this is just a quick tour. And we got aloe vera, more aloe vera. It's really really good for your skin if you have dry skin and all that or or cut the aloe vera would help heal them and we got the basil there that's a basil that's not a basil there okay and right here we have papaya the papaya tree these are just you know we get we buy papaya from the market and have the seed just throw the seed on the on the ground and they grow papaya grow look at that you can see papaya is coming out right there see all the the flowers and uh, there's, there's a bigger a bigger couple bigger papaya right there okay right. and here, here's lemongrass okay yeah most most Asian people would know lemongrass because they use uh, they use to cook them in with their with their um, in their soup okay that's another papaya aloe vera And the front, 
it's uh, you know just the rows, the rows around the yard. And you got nice looking pretty rows. Um, I have just had these uh, um, uh, woodchuck. I just laid this woodchuck on there. So far, looks pretty good. And then we have another in front of the house. We have another um, pomegranate uh, tree. Look at that. Actually two pomegranate trees. Okay, so this one has a lot of flowers. So this year it seems to um, you know have has produced a lot of flowers. So it's really 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 good. Um, the last tree the last tree there across the across the tr the the front yard is another pomegranate trees. Okay. There. And this one, this one, every year produce a lot of fruit. It's really, really big pomegranate. I mean, you, you get a lot of bad ones too because of the, the insect. We don't spray any chemicals or anything on there. So, yeah, you get the insect that destroy the fruits. But we have so many fruits that, you know, it, it, it's not a problem. Look at that. Look at flowers. Oh my God, so many flowers this year. See? All right, thank you. Thanks for uh, watching. That's a uh, quick summaries of, uh, of uh, my backyard. Um, plants, fruit trees, etc. Okay? I hope you enjoyed this uh, tour. I will make uh, you know individual um, video on specific, uh, specific uh, tree or plants. Um, if you're interested, just comment down below and uh, let me know what you want to see. Thank you.